Hi, welcome to PJ Storytime. I'm Miss Allison, and tonight I'm going to read you some stories. So the first story we're going to read is Little Quack, Hide and Seek. And this is by Lauren Thompson, and pictures were illustrated by Derek Anderson. Mama Duck had five little ducklings. One, two, three, four, and five. Their names were Whittle, Waddle, Piddle, Puddle, and Little Quack. One day, Mama said, let's play hide and seek. You hide and I will try and find you. You won't find me, cried Whittle. You'll never find me, cried Waddle. Just try and find me, cried Piddle. You'll find me last, cried Puddle. And Little Quack cried, I'll find the best hiding place of all. Count along with the quack you later. Look at the quack you later, you see that? So how many ducks are going out to hide? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, look, there's the five. All right. Five ducklings. Mama covered her eyes and she began to count. One, two. Whittle found a dark place to hide. So one, two, three, four, five minus one good hiding spot equals four ducks, four ducklings. Mama counted three, four. Waddle found a wet space, tied. One, two, three, four, minus one equals three little ducklings. So we have three little ducklings ready to find a new spot. Mama counted five, six. Piddle found a high place to hide. So one, two, three, minus one equals two ducklings. He's way up high in that branch. Mama Duck counted seven, eight, and Puddle found a leafy place to hide. So that's one, two ducks minus one equals one duck. One duck left to find his spot. Mama counted nine. Oh no, where should little quack hide? Uh oh. Mama called out, 10, here I come. Little quack found a quick place to hide right behind Mama. Oh, that's sneaky. Mama paddled over to a log. Any ducklings down there, she called. Here I am, cried Whittle. That's one little duckling found, said Mama. Who will I find next? Mama paddled over to the lilies. Any ducklings in here? She called. You found me, cried Waddle. That's two little ducklings found, said Mama. Who will I find next? Mama paddled over to a branch. Any ducklings up there, she called. It's me, cried Piddle. That's three ducklings found, said Mama. Who will I find next? Do you see where the littlest one's hiding? Oh, there he is. He's still hiding behind Mom. Mama paddled over to the reeds. Any ducklings in here, she called. I'm here, called Puddle. That's four little ducklings found, said Mama. Now where is Little Quack? Where's Little Quack? He's not behind Mama. Do you see him here? Look at that. He's hiding behind these leaves, isn't he? Is she going to be able to find him? Mama paddled over to the shore. Little Quack, are you here? Are you hiding here, she called. No, little Quack wasn't hiding on the shore. Where is he hiding? Can you find him? Mama paddled over to the rock. Little Quack, are you here? Are you hiding here, she called. 
No, Little Quack wasn't hiding near the rock. Then Mama Duck called out, Little Quack, where are you? Uh Uh-oh, does anybody see Little Quack? Where is Little Quack? There he is. Way back there. Shh, don't tell Mama. Here I am, cried Little Quack, right behind you, Mama. There you are, said Mama. You did find the best hiding place of all. Then quack, 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 laughed Mama with her ducklings. Whittle, waddle, piddle, puddle, and the quackiest of all was Little Quack. They all thought it was funny that he was hiding behind Mom. The end. All right, guys. Should we sing a song oh, with five little ducks? You want to do that with me? So if you have your hand, we're going to have five little ducks. Five little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama Duck said, quack, quack, quack. And four little ducks came waddling back. Four little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama Duck said, quack, 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 quack. And three little ducks came waddling back. Three little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama Duck said, quack, 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 quack. And two little ducks came waddling back. Two little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama Duck said, quack, 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 quack. And one little duck came waddling back. One little duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama Duck said, quack, 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 quack. And no little ducks came waddling back. No little ducks went out to play over the fields and far away. Mama Duck said, quack, 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 quack. And five little ducks came waddling back. All right. I have a story here about one red apple. Have any of you guys been to an apple orchard? There's one at the Perry Farm. You can go and look and see how the apples are growing on the tree. This is One Red Apple by Harriet Zephyr. All right. And this one, the illustrations are done by paintings. Paintings by Carla Gideon. One Red Apple. Pick a red apple from a tree. Drive a red apple to the market. Truck's gonna go around all the way to the end of the tree. Buy a sweet red apple at a farm stand. Have any of you been to our farmer's market in town where you can buy fresh vegetables and fruits? Enjoy a crunchy red apple. Delicious. Leave an apple core for the birds to eat. Oh, look at all those birds. They do love apple cores and apple seeds. Watch the tiny apple seeds scatter in the wind, blowing everywhere. Then you can see the small sprouts peek out from the earth. There it is. Do you see the roots down here that are growing underneath the dirt? Grow, grow, and apple trees grow year by year. From small trees to big trees. Grow, little apples grow week by week until, do you see the little flowers here? They're gonna turn into, what are they gonna turn into? Do you know on an apple tree? They turn into an apple. 
and then you're ready for picking. When people pick apples off a tree, sometimes they use ladders because the apples are so high up. Thank you, birds, wind, sun, and bees, because you all helped the apple tree grow. Thank you, earth, for one red apple. The end. What do you like to do with apples? I like to make applesauce and apple pies. Oh, they're so delicious. I have one more book and it's called The Way I Love You. And look, it's a little girl with her dog. This book is by David Bedford and Ann James. And I'm gonna read that book with you, with my dog. Hey, Kelly, come here. She's asleep. I put her to sleep, I'll show you. I put her to sleep reading my stories. Hey, Kelly. Do you want to read the story with me? She's sound asleep. I did a good job reading my stories. Uh, this is the way I love you. I love the way we play our games. And the way you run so fast. Uh-oh. I can't let go of my dog's leash. She's really big. And the way you come straight back. That's the way I love you. Uh-oh. She fell. And look, he's coming back to check to see if she's okay. I love the way we always share and the way you're my best friend. Do you have a pet at home? I love the way we both pretend. Look at it's King Dog. That's the way I love you. They're having a tea party. I love the way you tell me things. What do you think this dog's trying to say here? Do you think the dog's saying, let's play? He's wagging his tail. He's looking at, do you see the ball there? And the way you jump so high. And the way you smile your smile. That's the way I love you. I love the way you understand and the way you show me how. Oh, look, he's giving little kisses. And the way we are right now, that's the way I love you. Oh, look, she's reading to her dog too. I love the way you always care and the way you're always there. That's the way I love you. That's the way I love you. Good night. Good night, puppy. Isn't that fun? I have a dog. I have a great big dog, but she's asleep. I was hoping that she'd be awake. Kelly, come here. Come here. Good night. Good night, everybody.